just working my titties out. Is he working them out? <laughs> working them out. Is that a thing? Yeah, titty tie. You the <laughs> titty tie? Titty tie, that's what they used to call me. Tie, tie, titty tie. Tie, tie, the titty guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're Bill Nye. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> but I'm not really a doctor or a scientist. <laughs> You just wear a glove. <laughs> That's what, yeah. <laughs> that, or the uh, if you're wearing a lab coat, it's like in uh, in Vegas, everyone at the convention oh, had yeah, a yeah. lab coat on. None of them were doctors. No, <laughs> I've never seen a doctor in a bikini. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Handing out flower a <laughs> kratom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, doc, for this kratom. Are we live? Is, is are the people filing in? They are filing. Come on. S- single file, no trampling. Yep, yep, yep. There's plenty of gooch for everyone. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let, let everyone say their hellos and whatnot. Let it hello. Hello. Oh, we did that on the radio just a few minutes ago. Ah, and where can you listen to us on the radio? Every Monday at 6.20 Right before we do this here at 6.45, you can catch JB and I on the radio. That's WRV. I don't know the number. Mm-hmm. Anybody? 92.7, 96.9? the WRV. Yeah. Dude, dude, can they stream it too? Yeah, it's on the internet. Nice. That's, I think nice. that's all radio is really now. It's uh, yeah. advertising for the internet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, essentially. But uh, shall we get to it? Yeah, we got a couple hellos. We got a bunch to go over here. Hey, hey. We got first comment of the week, Eves. I haven't seen Eves in a couple weeks, I feel like. Howdy, Eves. I love Eves' Instagram post. He's doing a record a day. Record a day. For the whole year. Keeps the doctor away. <laughs> That's Hey, it, it does. Okay. Um, and then if he misses one, he, he follows up. Huh. Like, you know, a little late or whatever, but here's right, this. Right, right. Like, I like that. The man's good. Christopher McCormick. Hello, gents. Jonathan Benjamin. Hola, dark side. Saw John Benjamin at the wrestling. That's at right. The Civic Center. That's all I know now. There you go. It's kind of, I won't say it's ruined the Quiet Coyote for me, but it's definitely changed the perspective. I think it's made it sweeter. <laughs> we got a howdy hose for Mr. Chippy Chip. What's the name I came up for Chip last week? Oh, damn it. I feel like there's a new one every week. It was good. <laughs> uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll get to it. Oh, Miss Morrow. Hey, Miss Morrow. Hello. Uh, Gorman. Hello. Anyone else's gooch all sweaty and sticky? How was that, uh, how was that, that John Fogarty's gooch? Fogarty? Mm-hmm. That's a sticky, that's a, that's a swampy gooch. That was a swamp. <laughs> Down on the bayou, you might say. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, I just now picture rubbing your gooch on the bayou and <laughs> walking through. I hope you have a fan boat to really <laughs> <They're right>. trying <laughs> out. <laughs> Is this working? Uh, let's see. We got a McArdle. What's up, man? Welcome back. Chip wants us to add a copy of Coldplay's X and Y to a stack. Okay. All right. <laughs> Can do. <laughs> Dan Aloisi commenting on the nice soft lighting. Thank you. Thank you. We make, make you my, know, to make my cheeks. We made an investment in ourselves. Mm-hmm. That's it. For, you know, new, new year, new me. Is it, it's not a new year. Yeah, you know. <laughs> ha, new half year. <laughs> uh, let's see. We got Pearly on the line. Says, hey, hey. Let's see. Gorman says he sat in the rain for three hours. But watching Derek Trucks melt faces and then Fogarty play the hits was worth it. Of course. Good. Mm-hmm. Good. How was the parking lot, though? Mm. Uh, we got Laura Withrow on the line. Good evening, gentlemen. Hey, Good Laura. Good evening, Withrows. And uh, oh, I see Mr. Brian Acar just joined. Ah. Also, it's been a while. Yeah. I need the fucking sampling thing so I can have that queued up. I would love so that. Every time I say it, I can just replay it. I would, I, I, we need that. Speaking of 90s, did you know that yesterday was the anniversary of the issue of Korn's Follow the Leader? Whoa. I can't remember. 20, 20th anniversary of Follow the Leader yesterday. Damn. How crazy is that? That's not really relevant, mm-hmm. but just made me feel a little old. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And so with that, we say, Hey, hey Internet. Internet! Welcome to another edition of Dark Side Use 2's Previews. We're every Monday night, of course. We're here at 645, doing the damn thing. Letting you in on a little preview for what's going out tomorrow, which is, of course, Use 2's. 
we use. Uh, every Tuesday we put out a batch of used music, LP, CD, some movies in there, and some of your favorite dead formats for your viewing pleasure, for your buying pleasure. Of course, head over to our website after the video, darksiderecords.com. Put your email in so you can get every email sent to your email box. There we go. That's the use twos email. That's the new release email every Friday. And the special events emails, which will be popping off pretty frequently thanks to the patch Adam. Yes, September 21st, right at dark side. <laughs> that a little lower? Too high? Too good? Uh, that's, of course, our yearly patch pin goodie sale. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of local vendors coming through, selling their goods to you. You're coming through, supporting local, of course. Pins, patches, t-shirts, jewelry, and who knows what else. Maybe some more stuffed dead animals. We'll see. Yeah. And, of course... How could... This one, we know you're all waiting for. Heck, yes. August 29th, 9 p.m. to midnight, we're doing the Tool Fear Inoculum Midnight Release Fear. Party. And that's right, you heard it. You read it. Tool Karaoke. We're doing trivia. We got giveaways. We got coffee. And, of course, get or be the first one to get the new Tool album, Fear Inoculum, on the deluxe CD. Plus, you could pick up any other new releases that are coming out that Friday. And we should say, if you are planning on coming to the Tool Midnight Release Party, you should pre-order the Tool release, yes. because shit's going to get crazy. Mm -hmm. it is. I don't know if you heard, but this thing comes in a trifold with a four-inch digital screen that does something. There's only a limited number of these things that are going to be made. Mm -hmm. but It's already gotten crazy. I know it's like, just here's just what I can tell you. Amazon has shut down pre-orders. Mm -hmm. Barnes & Noble has shut down pre-orders. There's fucking no pre-orders anywhere. We still got your pre-orders. You know why? Because we went big. Because mm -hmm. we're trying to cover... We're going to cover the Hudson Valley. Mm -hmm. mm, and tool. Mm -hmm. We're going to tool all over the HV. going to knock... No. Not going to say it. So do it. Come in. Pre-order the tool. Give us a call. Pre-order the tool. Don't wait. Yeah. Come hang out with us after hours. It's always fun doing the midnight releases. Hashtag dark side after dark. Ooh. So with that being said, let's jump into the gooch with my first pick that describes me beautifully. Beauty Essex. It's Tyler Gergen. No, it's the Free Nationals. I think we're going to go with the Dirty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who are the Free Nationals? They are, of course, Anderson Pack's band. Uh, Anderson Pack is... A phenomenal artist, hip hop, R and B, little soul in there, a little electronic. But he's got a fantastic backing band, uh, which I uh, was lucky enough to see live, and they brought it. They really did. It wasn't no laptop with some buttons pressing. No, no, no. Full band, guitar, drums, bass. Anderson doing the damn thing. Uh, this is Beauty in Essex, featuring Daniel Caesar, who's got a voice of an angel, and the gap of Michael Strahan, his teeth. Go ahead, go ahead, look that up. Go ahead, look that up. The sports people will know. Wait, yeah, isn't he like a football player? Or something? Yeah, yep. New York Giants. Uh, he, and he had just, I mean, we're talking just a gap. What does he have to do with this? Uh, Daniel Caesar has a wider gap than him. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. I see what you're saying now. Mm -hmm. Some reason I thought you were saying that he was in the Free Nationals. Like, no, what? Just got to follow along. All right, all right. Well, let's kick it back to 1984. And we're going to get fucking loud, people. Because it's Manowar. Hail to England. But I'm not done. Manowar. Sign of the time. What's it fucking called? <laughs> Sign of the hammer, sorry. Two albums. Both released in 1984. February, October. Dibs. We got a double dibs? Is that a double dibs? I think, Mr. It's a du I think it might be a double dibs. I assume so. First pressings, live and loud. What I was going to say was they hold the Guinness Book of World Records for loudest performance in a concert. Hmm. And they've outdone themselves twice. That's pretty crazy. See the uh, one of the more recent John Olivers? He set the he tried to set the record for biggest cake. 
but they wouldn't uh, they wouldn't officiate it. Oh yeah, I saw mm-hmm. that. Uh, I saw that episode. It's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Gorman, pretty good. it's here. We're doing it. Uh, I didn't you. know you had one. Oh uh, yeah. I have a veiled. Uh, <laughs> we'll get to it. <laughs> you know, of course. Speaking in tongues, burning down the house. In tugs? Yeah, tongues. Oh. Uh, speaking Robert in tongues. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we do it. That's how we do it in the red light district. Speaking in tugs. Uh-huh. <laughs> there, you go. Go. there you go. Harder to see now. <laughs> <laughs> tug away, people. Tug away. Tug away. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's take you to the 90s now with uh, what some would say was a seminal band out of the old uh, Texas. Mm-hmm. I got another batch for you. It's at the drive-in. We got Relationship of Command and In Casino Out. Uh, their second and third albums, respectively. Second, third, second, third. Of course, uh, they went on to form my one of my favorite bands, The Mars Volta. But uh, just some good old, uh, good old boys from Texas doing some good guitar work and some crazy space the fuck out lyrics who we got yeah, we got a relationship command from mr paul, mr. paul. look at that i feel like we haven't seen paul in a while mm-hmm. hey paul hey paul so still available in casino out these are of course repressings not og so that's okay you're just saving the shekels that's mm-hmm. what you're doing mm-hmm. uh last week i talked about some jazz bass and i'm gonna keep talking about some jazz bass we got the new one from esperanza spaulding we got 12 little spells. And not only are they 12 little spells, but they're also 12 little spells on Ooh. exclusive blue vinyl from a store I will not speak the name of. I will. Fuck you, Barnes & Noble. Fuck, yeah. We got it. Mm-hmm. Because someone traded it. That's why. And we got Brian, so. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, Esperanza is a phenomenal bass player, uh, a child prodigy. Uh, and an adult prodigy. <laughs> Still incredible. Was she in the prodigy? Um, it was before they hit it big. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. And then um, she actually is a uh, professor at Harvard. Really? Yep. I a, didn't know uh, that. A music professor. That's cool. Yeah, professor of the performing arts. Hmm. Get your credits. Too bad I didn't get into Harvard. Uh, no. Ah, <laughs> so close. <laughs> if I had only known. Only Harvard on the Hudson for me. <laughs> Uh, let's just go classic. Do it. Why not? Fuck it. You might say it's legend, Harry. Mm-hmm. It's Bob Marley and the Whalers legend. The classic greatest hits. Nice little repress copy here. God damn it, it's got them all on there. Three Little Birds, Get Up, Stand Up, Buffalo Soldier, Exodus. Is there, like, I would say that there's plenty of people out there that only know this record as the Bob Marley record. Oh, okay. I didn't realize what you were doing there, yeah, but it's, it's me. Yeah. It's there me. you go. So, if you have a hole in your collection, cover the basics right here. Get on base. Well, dibs. We got a Marley from Mister Foxwell. Next up for me, I got some comps. Got some comps from the fine folks of Warner Brother, celebrating the 60th anniversary. So they threw out a bunch of comps. Uh, we got this one is the not the I want to be sedated one. There's two black ones, so yeah, I guess yeah. fire in the sky, rocking on. So you got the dead, you got deep purple, you got Clapton, you got little feet, and you got seal crazy. It's here. I actually didn't even know that until right now. There he is. Thanks for telling me, seal. And it's sealed. Uh, next up, we got a lot of love sounds from California. From the Warner Brother um, discography, you got Norman Greenbaum, Spirit in the Sky, Little James Taylor, Little John Sebastian. It's a little bit of that that California rock and psych. And what about I Want to Be Sedated? Another 60th anniversary comp. A little bit of Ramones, a little bit more punk and uh, new wave on here. A little Talking Heads. Mm-hmm. There it is again. Uh, yeah. Oh, man, every week. <laughs> uh, New Order, Husker Du, uh, Echo and the Bunnymen, many more. And not to be outdone, I'm every woman. Are you every woman? <laughs> I'm every woman, the Warner Brothers female compilation featuring a who's who 
uh, Cher, Andra Day, Dua Lipa, Regina Spector, Jenny Lewis. The perfect 1999 pairing, though. Paula Coles, Where Have All the Cowboys Gone Into? Ooh. Alanis Morissette's Ironic. Isn't it? It is. <laughs> and Dibs. no! Dibs sedated. Sedated. So we got a couple comps from the Warner Brothers label to get you getting on. Well, it wouldn't be a used twos week without it, would it? It wouldn't. It wouldn't be, so it. here it is. It's 1988's Neil Young and the Blue Notes. This note's for you. So uh, this one sees the return of Mr. Neil Young back to reprise after the little uh, incidents we had over at Geffen. <laughs> and uh, here you go. He's kind of uh, taking on the concert industry here. The whole thing is a fuck you to the co commercialization of like Ticketmaster and all thing. That's actually what the title track is about. This note's for you, motherfuckers. Ah. A Neil Young classic, but I'm gonna keep it in 88. Okay, all right. I'm gonna take it over to your other favorite singer-songwriter, mm. Mr. Bob Dylan. Friend of the store. <laughs> That's right, friend of the store, down in the groove, grove. It's a groove or grove? Groove, sorry. Uh, you know why I picked this record? We don't see it too often. We don't actually see it too often, but because I actually have a lyric from this album tattooed on my back. Oh, really? I really do. Mm -hmm. uh, track four, Bob Dylan's Death Is Not The End. Mm -hmm. Of course, I learned of it from Nick Cave's, uh, what's the word when a bunch of people sing it? Choral edition. On the last track of uh, Murder Ballads, he does a cover of Bob Dylan's This Is Not The End. <laughs> gorgeous song, gorgeous sentiment, and one you just don't see very often, so somebody. Do yourself a favor, pick it up. Gorman with the comment of the year. Uh, a used twos without Neil Young is like Super Troopers <laughs> without Tyler. I just watched Super Troopers 2 last night. Oh yeah, how was it? Didn't see it. Nah, they, I, I got some. I got problems with them. Yeah. And the Super Troopers 1 or none. I yeah. think you really would have improved the film. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have that. I mean, you see, you see the... It's you, a calming you, presence. You see this. Yeah. You see this. And here's something that you might not have seen. You might not have lived in Washington, or you might not have been alive at the time. It's Nirvana, live at the Paramount. Their Halloween 1991 show. Just recently put out. Uh, was it early this year? Was it around Record Store Day? Uh, only like a month or two ago, yeah, I would yeah. say. Um, so this is, it, it's got a bunch on there. You got, um, you got Lithium, you got me, you got uh, Sliver, you got Polly, you got About a Girl. They're all here. Two LP. What does it smell like? Used twos. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh yeah, okay, cool. Both sides. The, pump, I said the pumpkin. Because it's the Halloween show. Save a couple shekels while it's still in print. Get it used. Hey, -o. All right. I don't know why. I always, I always write the year. The album I uh, am going to feature came out. Mm -hmm. I like saying it. Right. So let's take it back to 68, Dang. 51 fucking years ago. Yeesh. Three Woodstock people. It's Canned Heat, Living the Blues. You know why I picked this record? Why? Because uh, there's old dark side by side of me and Bob Height, and multiple people have said, hey, you ever realize that you look like Bob Height from Canned Heat? Look it up afterwards. It's not embarrassing. <laughs> it's just a fact. <laughs> just, yeah. And uh, you know who also appears on this record? Who? Dr. John. Ah. Dr. John has uh, got a little feature on this record on Boogie Music. I dig that. As well as uh, somebody else played on this record. John Cale, I think, was on this. Mm, I so, love Cale. It's pretty hot now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But there you go. Canned Heat, Bob Height. That's all. Look it up afterwards. Let's, uh, let's can this heat for a second yeah. and uh, <laughs> slow it down. We'll get you a little filled in like we did at the top of the video. If you're not already on the email list, do yourself a favor. Go sign up. DarksideRecords.com. Uh, sign up for the Use Twos email. Sign up for the new release email. Sign up for the special events email. Like we said, we got the midnight release of Tool. We got Patch Adam. A whole bunch of more things to fill out the year. Live music semi-regularly, get yourself filled in. There's always a bunch of surprises. Of course, you can fill yourself more in. Oh. Mm-hmm. 
I downloaded the Dark Side Records app. Dark Side Records app on your mobile device, Play Store or App Store. Get you a list sent right to you. Get you some alerts sent right to you. The Dark Side app is where it's at. Yeah, that's a good uh, one. Yeah, I like that. And of course, like I said, every used tubes we put out a batch of stuff. We're showing you some vinyl. I'm gonna show you some CD that we got this week. Oh. Like a little uh, OG Fleetwood Mac. A little hard to come by right there. The Peter Green era Fleetwood Mac. Mm-hmm. The original mm. Fleetwood Mac. And we got a whole batch of uh, UK hard rockers Magnum. Magnum. We, we really don't see much Magnum on CD. And uh, if you want it. Now's your chance, but not to be outdone, we do DVD as well. Get a little action collection from Canon Films. Cobra, Masters of the Universe. Cobra Kai? Masters of the Universe featuring friend of the store, Frank Langella. Oh! Hey, hey, hey. Bloodsport, Hitman, and Over the Top. Or if you're the musical type, we got a nice little MGM musical DVD going out featuring how to succeed in business without really trying. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Fiddler on the Roof, oh, which yeah. I only know because of Family Guy uh, in the early episodes of William Shatner. Oh, yeah. Fiddler. Fiddler on the Roof. roof. Uh, and along with the DVD, we got the Blu-ray. Not one, not two, but all three Pixar short animated collections. You didn't feature Chuck Norris's early film Breaker Breaker? Damn it, Brian took it. No, but this one has Hitman and... We got Breaker Breaker going out this week as well. Yeah, Breaker Breaker. Yeah, Breaker Breaker. Seven inch this week. Every now and then we put some out featuring Poughkeepsie's own batteries, not included. Poughkeepsie City Sin. It's pretty cool to get. Pretty fucking sweet, huh? Mm -hmm. OG sticker right here. Yeah, yeah. And get the OG seven inch. Or maybe for the Star Wars fans, you want that Mecco seven inch featuring the Cantina. Fan jam and the Star Wars theme, but topping it all off, the seven-inch stack. It's the Pearl Jam sealed singles collection. That's seven seven-inch colored vinyl of Pearl Jam singles for your Pearl Jam singles. Hey, JB's favorite. And last but not least. We did it last week. We're doing it again. We got the VHS. Oh. And it's all music VHS this week. It is. It is. Featuring uh, a little bit of Dio, Sacred Heart, the video. Hell yeah. Or you got it on CD, you got it on DVD, you got it on vinyl, but you don't got it on cassette. The song remains the same. Led Zeppelin. I used to have this cassette and I played it over and over and over and over. <laughs> and... The true rarity this week, DOA, A Rite of Passage, the documentary, fucking hard to come by. I don't think it's been on, no, I think it is on DVD, is it? but know. it's sought out on VHS, original. You had to like send away for this shit, like mm -hmm. a mail order catalog. This is commitment. So check the list. Check uh, it twice. Check it twice. You never know what you're going to find that's nice. And I like rice. The ladies of Dark Side got a shout out from John Benjamin. They said, oh. hey. Hey. Hey, Kendra's watching. Hey, Kendra. Hey, Kendra. What's up, Kenny? And with that being said, let's hop back into the gooch. That's right. I'm going to take it to uh, a uh, record collector's favorite, if mm -hmm. you will. Absolutely. A first pressing, if we will. A really fucking clean copy, because we will, of Brian Eno's classic. Another Green World. Another one. Another one. Uh, this is one of those records that ends up on the wall for like 24 hours usually because mm -hmm. it's fucking gone. People love the Eno. Of course, you got Robert Flip. Flip? <laughs> Robert Flipper is playing on the record. Flip the rat. <laughs> uh, yep, lost some train of thought now. Mm -hmm. That's it's it's Eno. It's like that. It's just that '70s like sort of just. weird electronic. Mm -hmm. Is it Bowie? Is it not? But of course, Fripp was there, so I had that Bowie guitar sound. But I'm not done. Oh! I'm not done. Okay, okay. The not as common and a little more affordable, but still a first press. Brian Eno's Before and After Science. And you might be thinking, what was he talking about earlier? 
Oh, there's a Talking Heads connection here. <laughs> hey, because you know what? Track five, King's Lead Hat, is an anagram for the Talking Heads. Oh, it is. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. It is. Suck it, Gorman. <laughs> More Talking Heads references wherever we can find them. Wherever these Talking Heads can find them. <laughs> Brian, you know, super clean, first pressings, called dibs. These will not last. Um, we've had a bunch of messages like over time asking if we get have any Erica Bad Do. So this week we have some Erica Bad Do. You Erica Bad didn't. But you can't use my phone. Is the name of the album. You can use my phone if you need. Okay. I won't. You know. It's pretty broken. I don't know if yeah, I want to. <laughs> <laughs> you get a little like glass in your ear. <laughs> the 2016 record store day pressing out of print on dibbed gold vinyl. Who's got it? Not gold. Did I say gold? I said gold. I meant clear. Mr. Viega. Oh, okay. Coming in hot. Hell yeah. Don't forget. I just want to put it away for Okay, her. okay, okay. Gorman says his daughter puked as soon as she said talking heads. I'm raising our right. I don't know. Sometimes you rail against something so hard, it means you really love it. Mm -hmm. It's like that episode of Sarah Silverman show where Brian Posehn is supposedly always listening to metal on his iPod, but then they finally find out that it's just... The Spin Doctor's Two Princes over and over. Look it up, it's great. Keep yourself alive and let's keep the streak alive with Queen, Bohemian, fuck. I buried the lead there. Mm. A Night at the Opera, with of course featuring Bohemian Rhapsody. Why do I keep doing it? Because they keep selling. Every time we talk about a Queen record on this video, they gone. So, anybody? A Night at the Opera? Nice, clean copy, even a nice, clean cover. Sometimes they get yellowed, sometimes they get ring-worn because it's a white jacket. Ugh, tip it in, tip it in. All right. We'll let it soak a little bit. You'll regret it. Next up, I got two from Metallica. The first single, Whiplash, from their first album, Whiplash. Kill Em All. And on their second album, Ride the Lightning, a second press on the Electra label, but it's got the Megaforce tag. I'll show you the back. You're gonna have to come in to see the record. Dibs. Boom. On the Whiplash, Jason Miller. Getting some skin in the game this week. All right, kick it back to record store day real quick. Somebody, uh, I don't know what they're up to, but who knows what they're thinking. But this one, sold out first day, so here's your chance to get back in on it. It's the soundtrack to Howard Stern's Private Parts. You got uh, clips from the show. You got his intro, the Rob Zombie, Great American Nightmare. Corner for Pyro is Marilyn Manson. Ozzy with Typo. The Ramones. Cheap Trick. Deep Purple. Van Halen. Could go on and on. On blue vinyl. Came out just for Record Store Day this year. And hey. it's gone to Mr. Chippy Chip. Doing the thing. Next up for me, I got a batch of the deer hunter for you. Starting backwards, we're going with Act 4. And it is a colored. That's the gold there one. There it is. Uh, a gatefold of Act 4. The deer hunter never stays in print, never stays in stock. And I got two reissues, also out of print. I don't think they'll last too long. We got Act 1. And Act 2, my personal favorite. Act 3, way too expensive to get. <laughs> but Act 1 and 2, reissued here. Not their original artwork. They switched it up a little bit. Uh, but <laughs> it's still a fantastic album. A little concept action for you going across five different acts. Here's three of them. You just played this for the first I never listened to them before you spun this record the other day. I was mm -hmm. like, oh, huh, yeah, I had no idea. Yeah, they're That's like, pretty cool. Yeah, they, 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 they touch a lot of bases. We got our first official hit him with the hind on the dark side oh. video. It's like we're, we're moving up in the world. <laughs> All right, my last pick of the week. Mm -hmm. Another uh, record store day piece. This one, Black, Black Friday, I don't know why I said it twice, 2013. Much sought after, sold out really quickly from 1994, failure magnified. There he is, Thumbs, Thumbs McGee. 
It's uh, this one's long out of print. Of course, originals, out of this fucking world. Even this one, a little pricey, a mm -hmm. little pricey. Super clean. I don't know if you noticed, but we've been spinning it the whole time for this used video. And uh, you know, think uh, think your grunge scene, think Seattle, think Soundgarden, think more distortion, more atmosphere. You've got failure. Toured with Tool, midnight release party next week. There you go. That's all I got to say about. That's all I got to say about that. Watch that for the first time. You just saw it? what? Yeah, like two weeks ago. You've never seen it before. Never seen what it. What the fuck? I Those look like comfortable shoes. <laughs> <laughs> My last pick is the Bob's Burger album box set. You ready? I'm ready. You set? I'm set. Let's do it. Oh, it's empty. Because I pulled them out already so I could show you and not make a fool of myself more than I already have. So what comes in the Bob's Burgers Deluxe Box Set? What does come in the Bob's Burgers Deluxe Box Set, Tyler? Well, of course, you got the three LP featuring all the songs from the Bob's Burgers show. And this week, we're doing it a little, little bit more special for you. Oh? I'm gonna pull these out, because I didn't side bag them. Hey, it's the colored vinyl edition. I like that. One's red. One's green. And <laughs> yellowish. Yellowish. Yeah. I hate when they say yellow and it's not it's really. It's like yellow. when your mustard has touched your ketchup a little bit and you kind of swirl it together. Mm -hmm. On top you. of the bird. You see what they did there? Or it's government cheese melted on your bird. Mm. And not only does it come with the three LP, but you got one, two posters for your wall. Of course, you got the thank yous. You got to have the thank yous. And we thank you for watching. And you got the lyric book so you can sing along. Beautiful hard bound full color action for you or maybe you want to play along so they got you covered with the piano and ukulele sheet music oh, that's cute right so play along with all the jams and what else do we got here a seven inch <laughs> on white that's cool mm -hmm. the bag of stickers of course I would just keep them in, keep it as a collect, you know. And that's the problem yeah. with all this cool it's shit. Tough. It's, like, it's tough. As a collector, you need to keep it in the box, mm -hmm. but. But if you got a jacket. As a stand, I mean. If you buy, th <laughs> buy this and bring it to Patch Adam. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. There you go. That's advertisement right there. <laughs> Boom. It was. Birdo in, was Birdo in this motorcycle group? Yeah. The yeah, one, the one eyed the, snakes? The local chapter. Yeah, one eyed snakes, one -eyed snakes, PK. Yep. So that does it. That's a big box. And we love big box here. Darkside.com. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we thank you again for checking in, tuning in. Not checking out, I'm tuning out. Yeah. Um, of course, everything that you see here that wasn't dibs going out tomorrow. We got a whole bunch of other vinyl going out this week. Like I said, we got CD, DVD, Blu-ray, uh, some VHS, some sevens, all for use, use twos for use. We're here 10 o'clock, bright and early. If you see anything you want, let us know. Give us a call. Send us a message. Let us know what you're calling dibs on. We'll put it on hold for you. We'll hold it for seven days. Make sure you get here. Or if you're not gonna, maybe we'll run a little late. Maybe we go in ten days. Just let us know. Just talk. Just talk to us. Communication. Just talk to us, please. Please talk to me. No one talks to me. <laughs> <laughs> but with that, we'll see you in the bins. C U B. Yeah. <laughs>